Welcome to the daily word for the season of Pentecost. Today's reading is from the Gospel according to Luke, chapter twelve, verses thirty-five to thirty-eight. Jesus said to his disciples, "Be dressed for action, and have your lamps lit. Be like those who are waiting for their master to return from the wedding banquet." So that they may open the door for him as soon as he comes and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whom the master finds alert when he comes. Truly, I tell you, he will fasten his belt and have them sit down to eat, and he will come and serve them. If he comes during the middle of the night or near dawn and finds them so, blessed are those slaves. This is the word of the Lord. Be vigilant while waiting for the blessing that will come. Nowadays in Hong Kong and Macau, weddings usually happen within a day. Therefore, the itinerary of the day is planned according to a detailed schedule. For example, the bride and groom will each meet up with the ushers. And bridesmaids early in the morning, the groom and ushers will pick up the bride as planned. They will then visit the groom's family for tea ceremony. Next, they will have a church wedding ceremony, photo shoot, then hurry to the wedding banquet, etc. To ensure that everything will go smoothly, hiring a wedding planner to guide in every detail of the wedding is getting more popular. The Jewish local tradition in Jesus' era was quite different. Then weddings would last for a period of time. The groom would start building a new house after the bride's family accepted the betrothal gift. Once the new house was checked by the groom's family, the groom could fetch the bride from her home. This is the background of the parable of the ten virgins. The virgins did not know when the bridegroom would arrive. And therefore, did not take any oil with them. After the bridegroom has collected the bride, they will spend an enjoyable banquet in the evening with their relatives and friends, singing, dancing, savoring food until the early hours of the morning. After the banquet, they will go home and continue to share the joy with the family and servants. As we wait for the second coming of Christ, we need to be happy. Be prepared with lamps burning, be vigilant and ready. The banquet of the Lamb is mentioned several times in the Bible. Jesus reminds us always to be ready for His return. Let us have a time of reflection. In the church calendar, we have the habit of reflecting on the coming of Christ during Advent. What reminder does the Bible passage today give you? When Christ comes at the end of the world, what will be our attitude and thoughts? Let us pray, dear Lord. Thank you for saving us through the incarnations and dying on the cross. May God increase our faith and hope. Help us to always be vigilant as we serve you eagerly, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.